In this video, we'll go over all the WoW news from the past week and try to compress it into a bite-sized video. The weekly event for this week is Pet Battle Bonus Event. The Archaeology Bi-Weekly is still for the key to Nartholos Academy. There's a micro-holiday going on right now called the Call of the Scarab, which ends tomorrow, and Lunar Festival will start on Friday. In other news, the new raid comes out today, Heroic and Normal Difficulty Only, Mythic and the First Wing of LFR will come out next week. In the past week, Blizzard banned a lot of accounts for repeatedly looting a Black Empire coffer, which had a bug which lets you loot it endlessly, basically. And uh, Blizzard removed all those bans. Basically, they said it was their fault. And speaking of bugs, there's a bug in the auction house where your auctions are selling. It's just they're taking time before they give you the gold for those sales. They are currently working on a fix for this right now, though. All right, and now it's time for the weather report with DevBot the WeatherBot. What's the weather like in Nyalatha? New research has found that lonely people have superior social skills compared to people who aren't lonely. Huh, that would explain my above average social skills, DevBot. Very good to know. Now, my last video, I put up a whole bunch of new sections for people to decide which ones they liked and wanted to see, and I think I'm going to cut about half of them. Someone made a really good point about the mailbox section, in that replies would be too long to really fit in a short bite size format, and would be much better served in like its own video or something. The random pet trivia of the week and the fan art of the week will also be removed, but since this is a pet battle week, Let's talk about some pet battle related topics. So the mob of the week is the Quivering Filth. This mob is located in a remote part of the Thunder Isle and drops a pet named the Filthling, which has a pretty decent drop chance and actually sells for around 1000 gold on the auction house, but doesn't sell for very much. And the mobs that can drop it respawn pretty fast, so you can just run back and forth killing them all day if you wanted. Now, for something to do in WoW, I'd suggest setting up an Alliance Alt in Nomergon to fight this Daily Tamer, which can be done one time per account per day. So, you only need to set up one of your alts, and basically, you just park them in front of this Daily Tamer, who is different from the Nomergon Pet Battle Dungeon, I might add. Uh, this is a completely different pet battle related thing in Nomergon, because defeating this Tamer every day will give you a bag which has a chance to drop a pet, which sells decently well on a lot of servers, and has around a medium drop chance rate. So you'll probably see about one drop per week if you do this every day. And I even got a drop while I was getting footage for this section. Now, the reason the random pet trivia was removed is because some of the mobs of the week, or something to do in WoW, might be somewhat pet battle related. And it seems kind of limiting to not be able to talk about pet battles in those sections, or to talk too much about pet battles for those who don't really care about them at all. And then we'll just end the video with a WoW meme before the end card, rather than reading it out and explaining it. So, with that, I'll see you all next week.